Hey, what do you do traders? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at this powerful Forex trading strategy that will make it hard for you to get a loss when you are trading Forex. So do smash on that like button for me as in more ways to continuously show up here almost each and every day for you guys, right? And please note, guys, that I do not sell anything in the Forex trading space. I do not offer any investment packages. I give out information for free. So please be aware of those scammers out there that may try to take your money using my name, guys. And without wasting any of your time, let us get on with it right so you can clearly see here that we've gotten ourselves this bullish structure right there guys right and let us just get in deep and look at what happened here right if you can just somehow play our play tool right there right and then if we can just somehow throw our trend line right there there we go right and you can clearly see that we had our first touch right there right second touch right there and we are about to wait for our third touch right there let us just play our replay tool and then let us just look at what happened so basically with this strategy guys it is so much hard for you to get a loss you are able to escape losses using this strategy right so i'm going to show you guys how it, what makes it difficult for you to get a loss when you are trading using the strategy right so you can clearly see here that we had the first touch the second touch there and now we've just gotten our third touch right there and then you can see that on the third touch we had our bearish and golfing candlestick pattern right we had our bearish and gulping candlestick pattern meaning now that a typical retail trader would then do what would then place a sell order there right and then put a stop loss maybe uh, there at the start of that candlestick pattern right and then preferably take a one is two three rigs to reward ratio right so now how am i going to be able to escape this loss if you can just clearly see here right what price then did bam right so you can see here that you would have done what you would have gotten stopped out right you would have gotten stopped out but with what i'm going to teach you today guys you are going to be able to what you are you, you you are going to be able to avoid this loss right fine you will have taken the same entry but at the end of the day you are not going to take a loss right so stick till the end of this video guys so let us just proceed right so now what is it that you do right isn't it that you somehow need to have uh, uh, an insurance bro you somehow need to have something that is called an insurance i do not know if that that, that make, makes any sense right but you somehow need to have an insurance on your stop loss and how do you have an insurance on your stop loss you have an insurance on your stop loss by doing this right isn't it that here before we sell we have to get how many touches on our trend line we have to get first touch right second touch right and third touch right there before we even decide to do it before we sell we sell at our what we sell at our third touch right so now how do you now create that insurance you create that insurance by also creating three trend lines that are going to act as your insurance should price go in the opposite direction right so now note guys that here you, we have entered right already we have entered there but now our stop loss is not here right i'm going to show you how you place your stop loss right so now what is the next thing that you do you you create the other two trend lines so that you have yourself three trend lines right you need to have three trend lines right why are you having three trend lines because also here we, we we sell on our third touch first touch there second touch there and third touch stick with me guys as i'm here to get in deep right so now let us then throw uh, 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 our insurance trend lines right so now you throw the nearest trend lines right you throw trend lines that are going to be super super near to this first trend line let us just throw this trend line red right so your two trend lines have to be near to this trend line the nearest trend lines right the nearest trend lines right so let us continue drawing the nearest trend lines and there we go beautiful right so now isn't it guys that you can see now that we have ourselves three trend lines right this is the first trend line that we used to take our entry from right this is the first trend line that we used to do what to take our entry from so now why do you need these other two trend lines for your insurance 
you need these other two trend lines let, let us just do that you need these other two trend lines why because bro now 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 let, let us first talk about our stop losses right so now where are you going to place your stop loss once you have entered on this candlestick pattern after this candlestick pattern has entered right so now you are going to place your stop loss above these three trend lines above the two insurance trend lines meaning now that you are going to place your sell there and then your stop loss is going to be where above above what above the two insurance trend lines right the two insurance trend lines right so now why do you need these two insurance trend lines you need these two insurance trend lines because bro candlestick patterns are not accurate candlestick patterns are not accurate and speaking of candlestick patterns not being accurate also trend lines are not fully accurate so you need to have th th that insurance so now what is it that you are going to do right so price now if price breaks out of this first trend line that you took your entry from right chances are price is going to reverse way on the second trend line and then move to the downward remember where is your stop loss your stop loss is somewhere there above these two insurance trend lines your stop loss is somewhere there right so now let us say now that price doesn't respect the first insurance trend line what is then price going to do price is going to come on this third second insurance trend line right and chances are and, and, and chances are price is going to do it is going to re reverse from this third insurance trend line right right so if price doesn't reverse from this first insurance trend line right chances are it is going to reverse on that second insurance trend line right and then this way you wouldn't have gotten stopped out because prior because you put your stop loss above these two insurance trend lines and your first entry was where and your first entry was here and the reason why you are using these two insurance trend lines is because bro you're not really sure whether price is going to respect this trend line and this kind of pattern right but chances are a candlestick pattern is going to form on the second uh, or, or on the second trend line or on the first insurance trend line and then price might reverse or chances are a candlestick pattern is going to, to form on the second uh, uh, in, in insurance trend line and then price might do it and then price might then reverse so now that is what is making it hard for you to take a loss because the stop loss will be just above these two insurance trend lines and then these two trend lines are there to help you do it to help you avoid you from taking a stop loss they will just be there to oppose price when price wants to do it when price wants to hit your stop loss they will be just there to oppose price right so now speaking of insurance trend lines, let us then now look at what happened right let us then now look at what happened right let us then now look at what happened right and then bam right and then bam remember your entry is here your entry is here let us just set this to green your entry is there and then your stop loss is where and then your stop loss is there right so now if you can just clearly look here we can clearly see that a candlestick pattern has formed on what on this first insurance trend line right and now we have our separate what a bearish and gaffing kangly stick pattern you are still in this trade right you haven't taken a loss right but those that put their their stop losses there at the end of that king stick pattern they are already stopped out right so now what is going to then happen bam let us then look at what happened bam bam so i can clearly see now at what happened right so now the first insurance trend line saved you from taking a loss the first insurance trend line saved you from taking a loss if price wasn't able if this first insurance trend line wasn't able to reverse price to the downward right to the downward right chances are price was going to come on the third uh, uh on the second insurance trend line and then price was going to form a candlestick pattern there and then 
move to the downward that way it is it would be like way way too hard for you to take a loss right it would be way way too hard for you to take a loss so now I haven't somehow shown you a way that you can magnify your uh, your entries and uh, you know and, and I haven't gotten in deep on this risk uh, risk free forex trading strategy right so now I need at least 700 likes and at least 500 comments on this video right and then I'll drop uh, uh, the second edition of this video right so do get those likes up guys and you know comment as much as you can so that we can proceed on with this risk free for uh, forex trading strategy right so that's it for this video guys hope you did find value if you did do so much on the like button for me see you on the next one cool cool bye